at a young age you knew like growing through or you grew through you knew like yeah i'm liberal how did it feel then did you at all feel like you were standing out from the crowd that would have been around you at the time or younger it was something i i think again throughout all my years of being aware that I do sort of sway a certain way in terms of politics, um, I was never ashamed of saying, yeah, I'm a liberal supporter, I'm a liberal voter, whatever. Again, it comes down to exposure and your the environment you grew up in. So in terms of family, um, my parents voted liberal. Um, the comments, I guess, they would make about certain people and we also grew up when John Howe was the prime minister as well and for a long time too. So that's the context that I grew up in and I was exposed to that. And um, if, I guess, if I grew up with a different set of parents and a different government, mm -hmm. I would probably um, have a different view. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the environment you grew up within and and um, the world that you're exposed to and the level of engagement that your parents had or your friends or your teacher, it all depends on, it's very circumstantial, it's hard to explain, but every little thing contributes in some way. I actually really like that part where you pointed out that if you had grown up under different influences and upbringings, you might lean a certain different way. Um, but based on what you experienced, you lean this other way. Uh, the thing that you experienced was obviously growing up during John Howard times, right? I mean, as a kid, I, I remember doing when John Howard's around. Um, and when I say I remember, very, my family wasn't as involved in politics. So I just knew as in sitting around, hearing parents, like, who are we gonna vote for, Labour, Liberal, he hearing the Vietnamese words that mean whichever sides. Um, but I don't know much about what John Howard did why we like him, why we don't like him. Because I know that I, I feel like I, I hear a lot of rhetoric and I, I want to mention someone so you know where I'm coming from. I haven't listened to what he's had to say, but someone I listen to a lot is, you know, Friendly Geordies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't like him at all, do you? Not at all. I like him, he's funny. No, he's not. He calls that like, well, He's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, how probably, and I'll probably go watch whatever I need to watch to find out what, what you know, what bone he has to pick with John Howard. You're ex like why why because we definitely I know we definitely owe a lot to the politicians of the past for whatever they achieve. I love Paul Keating. Paul Keating went to my school, man. I love Paul Keating. That's not enough. That's not a good enough reason just to love someone. But John Howard, what did you like about him? Because I also went to your social media and I saw, hey, she, did you get a photo with John Howard? Yeah, a few photos. Um, I'd take a photo of John Howard. He was the prime minister when I was a kid. I don't care political gender and like I just want a photo with him. I'd love that. I think as silly as it sounds, like you said, you liked Paul Keating because he went to the school. That's that connection you have with mm. him. With for me, I guess my love for him started um, <laughs> from we share the same birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's Fair a enough. cute little characteristic we share, but <laughs> that's not the only reason why. Mm, of course not. That was just one form of connection, mm. um, I would say. Like you, I probably don't remember much from that era from a personal experience, but I can always research, look back on, ask people why they um, why they liked him and his policies. I think what's stronger than words on a page or on a screen is that feeling, um, and that feeling from that time or that feeling. Um, from whatever it may be and emotions are again very very strong um stronger than other other parts of reasoning um per se so what i liked about him is yes he's socially conservative which i resonate with um in terms of economic policies um we were in surplus for all those years pretty much uh, fixing Labor's mess <laughs> from before. I was going to bang the Labor's. <laughs> yeah. But um, just that feeling, it was just, he gave people confidence, stability. I think recently with the chop and change of prime ministers, 
no one from either party, from all works of life would have liked that. Mm. No one would have liked uh, a different prime minister every two years or a prime minister that you didn't vote for or, or didn't campaign for in that election. Um, and people, it, it gets annoying. Mm. It does. It frustrates people as well. So John Howe was the last stable prime minister this country's had um, before, again, the chop and change from both Labour and Liberal. Didn't we have Kevin Rudd after? Yeah, and then Julie Gillard, and then Kevin Rudd again, and then (laughs) you know how it goes.